Hi there, and welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to make Squarespace templates step by step. And of course, the use of the new search keyword we rank feature, which was recently introduced to Squarespace. I'll be leaving a link to squarespace.com in the description of this video. But to register with Squarespace so that you can be able to create a website, you simply need your email and a, and a password, and then you register. Sometimes it may send a verification code or link to your email. And once you have done the confirmation, you will simply be brought to this homepage. You click on create website. So if you want to use the templates, you will select the templates from here, either the type that is an online store, the portfolio membership, if it's about the topic, you can uh, base your template on the topic, for instance, art and design, photography, health and beauty, personal and CV. You can also base it on all these others if you are to use the template. But in this case, we want to use our own template. We want to create our own template. So you simply click on build your own template. It brings you to this page, a template that is unique to you where you are going to be following these four simple steps. So you'll design your homepage and then you'll add the pages you need. Then we'll pick the color palette and then you're going to be choosing the font pairing. So you will click on let's go here and it will be now setting things up. So you'll give what your site is called. In this case, let me call it Joshnet Health. So this will be for the site title. Then we'll go to the home page. Then pages, colors, and fonts. You can see them down here. The first one will be Joshnet Health. Then you click on Next. Then now we are on the site title. You select any of these. So for instance, either the first one, the second one, whichever you'll choose. So I'll choose that and click on Next. Then for the pages, you can decide the pages that you want to add. What pages do you want to add? In this case, you get this recommendation. We recommend starting with this, but you can always add or remove pages later. So I want to add the page about, I want to add services, and I want to add shop, and I also want to add the contact page. So I just select those ones, and you notice they are now on this side. Then I click on Next. Then here I select the color palette. I choose the one that I would want. So either monochromatic, neutral, bright down here. We have bold down here. You choose any. In this case, let me choose bright and I choose those colors. Then I click on next. You notice if I select here, then the colors change here. Let me select a different color like that. You notice it has also changed here. Let me select the bold. You notice again, it's now black on this side. So I'll choose any and then I'll click on next. Then I can choose the font pairing. In this case, we have fonts here that I can always choose from. Maybe I want to pair wax sans with Archivo Black. So I'll select any. In this case, if I select on Archivo Black, you'll notice how it looks on my site. It's bold enough. So again, you need a color that is quite shouting. You click on Finish. And it's now saving your color palettes and gathering the data. So it welcomes you to your site. You simply click on Continue. Then you can now edit the pages to add or remove the pages. So in this case, I'll just be clicking Next, Next, and Get Started. So it brings me to my website. You notice it has my title there, Joshnet Health, uh, here, and then gives me the details. If I want to edit my website, I simply click on Edit at the top here. So you notice now here I can add a section. I can also edit the section, and I can remove the section. So in this case, let me edit the section. I click on Edit. Then I can decide if it's the background, the format, or the colors. So if I click on background, I'll be able to edit the background. 
So in this case, I don't want to touch that. If it's a colors, I just click on colors and I'll be able again to select the colors. For instance, let me click on bright A. You notice we get that color. If I click on lightest one, we get that. So that is how you edit the colors. So if I want to edit the text itself, I simply double click on the text. And then here, I click on that. Then I edit this text. So I'll call it Joshnet Health Center. And then I just click outside. You now notice we have our Joshnet Health Center title added. I can also edit the image here. So if I want to edit this image, I simply click on that. Then I click on edit. So I can replace the image here of the ceramic. So I just click on replace, but I can also edit that image. So in this case, let me just replace. I can replace either from my file stored in my PC or I can browse stock images. So in this case, let me just browse stock images. So I'll select any of these images that are free to use. So let me select this flower. Then I click on add image and there we have it. So we have our image added there. And again, for the images, make sure you select images that are in line with your articles. So, or with your website and what you are dealing in. So if I want to edit this one again, I can just double click and then I can type here, maybe welcome people to your site with an introduction. Maybe I just type there, Joshnet Health Center. Then I give all the details that I would need about my whatever business that I'm doing. Then once I'm through, I simply click outside and automatically it saves itself. So down here, I can add site footer. I can add sections. And with that, I'll have edited my home page. Then I'll click on save. So I'll now click on exit. So that now it takes me to this site. Now this is how my website will look like. Joshnet Health Center. And then all the services that I do. I can keep on editing this. I can edit the design. Then I can add browser icons and all that. So I'll click back home. And now I want to show you how you can use the search keyword, which is currently new on Squarespace. So you'll simply come to your site. Here we are on my site. You click on analytics. So I have just used this Squarespace for demos. So you notice it has zero sales, units sold, zero orders. Everything is zero here. So to use the search keyword feature, let me come to acquisition and click on search keywords so that I can connect that. So I'll click on search keywords and you notice by clicking on search keywords as opposed to clicking on site search keywords, I'll click on search keywords and then I will connect Google search keywords. You verify your site with Google search console to learn which search keywords are driving traffic to your site and how to optimize your site's performance in search results. That means I can use these Google search keywords to know which words are people searching to find my site so that I can use those words so that I can keep on driving more traffic to my site. If I click up here on other search engines, you notice I currently don't have any data available. So let me use the first one. So you will click on connect and it will need you to connect to one of these accounts. So in this case, let me connect to one of the accounts. Then it asks you Squarespace Analytics Search Consoles want to access your Google account. So I'll click on allow. And with that, you notice we get this notification you are connected. Your site is now connected to Google Search Console. It may take up to 72 hours to index your data. Check here to view top SEO keywords. So now that means if we come to this site after around 72 hours, we'll be able to see the keywords that have been searched for people to get to my site. So the advantage of that is if now I get maybe, for instance, people are searching 
about if they are looking for maybe a season when it's cold, the cure for common cold. Maybe the keywords will be common cold. It means that if I get that as the high ranking search words, I'll be able to write more articles on the same so that I'll be able to drive traffic to my site. But in this case, my site may not be accessing that because I may need to see this after 72 hours. Once people just search for those words, they'd be automatically driven to my site. That is how you create templates for Squarespace. And now you have also learned how to use search by word, which is a new feature in Squarespace. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.